Hey guys, so today's video is probably the most requested video on my channel, which is my makeup collection and storage. When I started YouTube and when I was in college, my makeup collection and storage was pitiful. I had it everywhere, it didn't even look cute, and I was like, I can't show them this, like, it was a hot mess. So now, I'm finally getting it how I want it, or how I would have always wanted it, so I was like, that's what I'm gonna film today, because I feel like I've been holding out on you guys way too long and I'm really sorry. I'll probably end up doing this maybe once a year or so just to like update you guys on my collection and my storage. And just as a disclaimer, I'm not trying to brag whatsoever. So let's get that out of here. I'm a beauty vlogger so I get scent makeup. I'm a makeup junkie and hoarder so I buy a lot of makeup. And this has been accumulated over the past few years. I think this is maybe my third year of collecting makeup now. So it's been a long time and I spend way too much money more than I should on makeup. Thumbs up this video if you know what I'm saying. So I hope you guys have fun watching this video and I give you some ideas for storage or anything else. I'll link everything I have down below like my drawers and everything link them down in the description bar I love you guys thank you so much for your continuous support and let's go ahead and get into this madness back here so this is my little makeup area at a glance I have my table where I actually do the makeup and then next to it I have two sets of the wide Alex drawers from Ikea I searched high and low for good makeup storage drawers and these by far were the most affordable and the most practical. I know most people on YouTube have these, but honestly, they were the best deal. First, I have my desk area and I have my little vanity mirror set up right here. The mirror came from Kirkland's. I believe I paid 20 or $30 for it. It's not actually attached to the wall. It's just sitting at an angle on my desk because I liked the way that that looked. And then the lights on each side, I have two bathroom light fixtures. They're sets of four and I got these from um, Home Depot I think but I know Home Depot and Lowe's both have them then the light bulbs on the inside are really bright 60 watt bulbs they're kind of expensive but they're completely worth it if you love to do your makeup or if you're wanting something to show and help you do your makeup because they're gonna show everything then my desk came from Pangea I actually got it off of Hot Look it's a high gloss white finish which I love for a makeup desk and then the legs are angled and it comes with two small drawers and uh, I just love this desk so much I'll link Hot Look down below if you don't have an account you guys have heard me mention it a million times but I get a lot of my discount designer stuff from Hot Look and they have great home stuff so in the first drawer of my desk, I have all the stuff I use on a daily basis when I'm doing a full face or even if I'm not. My brow palette by Anastasia, which I love, the brow pomades, um, I have my paint pots, my lip balms, my eyeliners, my lash glue, just stuff that I'm always gonna pull for, I put it in here. And then the second drawer is just full of samples and pens, I mean, who doesn't need pens, right? Then I have this little brush holder that I made. I got the little crown vase from Hobby Lobby and put like little plant filler beads. And then I put just some of my favorite brushes in there and I think it's just so cute and I don't know, I really liked it. And then I also have this little mirror right here that I use if I need to get really close, like my eyeliner or when I film tutorials, that's what I use. And then here's the chair that I use to sit on. It's so comfy, it's from Pier 1. And then here's little baby Molly over here sleeping. She looks like a queen and I didn't even mean to match our little her bed in my chair but it just happened like that so this is the top of my Alex drawers I have all of my brushes right here and then I have a few like Muji drawers so these first two are from Muji I have this little looks like pencil holder and then I have these drawers right here Casey actually gave these to me when I went to go see her and I put them to good use so I have first I have my lip pencils right here the ones I don't use as much my Mac ones and OCC ones I use the most then I have mascara and eyeliners then I have two eyeshadow a palace to sit in the back because I think they look really pretty and I love the packaging. This one is the Anastasia Lavish palette and then the Urban Decay Electric palette which I still need to do a tutorial on. I know I haven't been able to play with it yet. For my next little Muji drawers I have first my concealers sit in here. I love concealers. In the next drawer are things that I've just purchased and need to try out. I'm kind of weird. I like to separate new things that I've bought in because I'm super excited to play with them. And so I put them in here so I know, okay, what am I gonna use from here today on my face? Then the next drawer is filled with more lip products. 
And then the last two drawers are again new products that I've bought. A lot of these I mentioned like in my haul video. So I keep them here because they're new and I want to try them and play with them. And I don't know, I get really excited to pull makeup out of these two drawers because I kind of separate them out from everything else. First I have this seven drawer acrylic case with a little lipstick holder on top. Adam got this for me as a gift. I think he got it off of Amazon. Then the lipsticks mostly are from NYX. I have some of the butter lipsticks and the soft matte lip creams. And then on the back side I have some Motives lipsticks and some random ones in the middle. So the first drawer contains pigments. I have Alexa Persico, my favorite Makeup Geek pigments, some Sugar Pill, and I think that's about it in this one, and I keep them all in this little drawer. Then in my next drawer, I have most of my single eyeshadows, so NYX, a little bit of MAC, some L'Oreal, and then a few eye primers. Then my next drawer contains some glitters, as well as paint pots, my gel eyeliners, and my glitter glues. Next drawer has most of my glitters. These are from Motives, Violet Voss, Eye Candy. All of that good stuff is in this drawer. Next are my lip balms and lip primers. They sit in this drawer. Then in the sixth drawer, I put my small eyeshadow palette, so like Naked Basic, Chanel, Dior. I have some Revlon Colorstay ones down in there. Then my last drawer has eyebrow products. These are ones that I love but I don't use on a day-to-day -day basis because I like to switch it up, so those I put in here. Next on top of my drawers, I have some more lipstick, surprise, surprise. So I have a few of these acrylic cases and then this one is my favorite one. This one Adam also got for me as well. I believe he also got this maybe on Amazon. It actually sits on the corner but I usually sit it back. And here I have most of my MAC lipsticks, my dose of colors, um, my NYX butter glosses, whitening lightning glosses. This container holds 70 lipsticks which that is so embarrassing. I told you guys I'm a lipstick hoarder like I'm kidding you not I hoard lipsticks these along with the pink acrylic holder that sits on top of my makeup desk are my favorite lipsticks and then of course I have all my whitening lightning glosses which are my absolute favorite they're so creamy and I love them so moving on to the Alex drawers. First are more lippies guys this is seriously so embarrassing these are lip products that didn't fit on top Then next are my bigger eyeshadow palettes. I have my Makeup Geek and MAC, which are the two that I use the most. Some Anastasia, some Sigma, Urban Decay, The Balm. All of my bigger eyeshadow palettes will sit in this drawer. My third drawer is filled with lashes, upon lashes, upon lashes, because I have an obsession and it's kind of hard for me to go without wearing them because they really just change your face. So my two favorite brands are Velour and Esquito. They sit right in here. Then the next drawer is probably my favorite. These are all of my cheek products. My bronzers, my luminizers, liquid luminizers, contour shades, blushes, contour palettes, blush palettes. That's this drawer. Face products are my favorite to play with, so all those sit in here. And all the little clear containers I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. I think it's in the kitchen section, but again, if I find the exact ones of stuff I have, I'll link them down below. Then my favorite part are highlighters. I have Whisper of Guilt, of course. The Balm, some Becca. Then there's Dior, NARS Albatross, and then my favorite Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in 24 Karat, which was limited edition, sad face. Then I have my favorite liquid luminizers. My two favorite are the Josie Marin and the Gerard Cosmetics BB Plus. Oh my gosh, these two are just like my holy grail liquid luminizers. Then I have this little blush container. Adam also bought this for me as well. I'm not sure where he got it. Probably Amazon because I know that's where you got the big one and I put my little cutesy blushes in here Then I have just some of my random blushes in here that are different shapes and sizes Then I have my Mac palette that I made with blushes my Givenchy bronzer that was new I mentioned in a haul and then my Anastasia contour kit they sit off to the side Next is my foundations and face drawer. This is another one of my favorite drawers. I just love it. The first little container are all of my darker foundations. So when I have a tan or when I self tan, they sit in there. 
have some Tarte, Revlon, L'Oreal, Laura Mercier, Essay Lauder. I have the new Bare Minerals Foundation, which I've been really liking as well. Um, Armani Luminous Silk, NARS, Hourglass, Marc Jacobs, all that kind of good stuff. If you guys haven't been able to tell, I do really like high-end foundations, but L'Oreal True Match and Revlon Colorstay Whipped are my two favorite drugstore. Then next, I put all my little primers and my setting powder right up front here. My favorite primer is the Hourglass, you guys know this. And then the other foundations in this container are for my normal, natural skin tone when I'm not tan at all. Then I have my EX1 foundations, which I did a whole video on it. Absolutely love this foundation. Then I have my other BB creams, Garnier, Smashbox, and the Flower BB cream, which I really like. And then I put all the rest of my powders right up front here. Then the last little container are all of my setting sprays. My favorite ones are for motives. Then I have like Fix Plus and stuff like that. Then the next drawer is boring. It's just my Sigma Dry and Shape, which I use to dry my brushes after I clean them. I have two because I love them. And then my brush cleanser and some wipes. Then the first drawer of the next set of Alex drawers are stuff that I need to review or maybe stuff that I've been sent. So I just got a lot of this stuff in. So I'm looking at it, getting ready to try it out. I've already tried some of it out. And then the next four drawers are completely open, so I have time to grow, like I need anything else. So that's everything for my makeup storage and collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it fun. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Make sure to let me know in the comments what video you wanna see next. And thank you so much, as always, for watching. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.